welcome back to Asian Little Shed Shop. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be using some scrap wood, sapili and ash, African mahogany, this is called, sapili, one of its other names, bloody hard. Ash is, well, it's just called ash. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, ash. So I have some scrap sapili, some scrap ash, and I'm gonna make a knife block for my brother-in-law because he's just recently moved into his beautiful new house and I kind of noticed as we've been around there quite a lot that he didn't have a set of knives. And Joe, you know, it bugs the shit out of me, it really does, that someone doesn't have, I mean, he's a grown ass man, a set of bloody kitchen knives or a place to put them. Yes, I know most people will buy a kitchen knife block with a full set of knives. Who wants that? That's pretty boring. So I'm going to make him a knife block. That was meant to be a nice new knife block. So I'm going to make him a nice new knife block. Yes, I am. It's going to be out of sapili, ash, and some perspex or acrylic, whatever you want to call it. It has a whole multitude of names and a little bit of luck and some hope and a prayer and some help from Mrs S. Probably a lot of swearing involved too. So if you like what you see, click that like button and uh, why don't you yeah, hit the bell for notifications and subscribe. Keep watching and I'll show you the simplest but most beautiful knife block that you can make out of some scrap, I think. My opinion. IMO! That's what the kids say these days. Yeah. Keep watching. Let's go. Shit I gotta get. Duh. Biggest knife blade is an eight inch. Get these back to the house before Mrs. S kicks my butt. Well, I do some shit. That's okay. That's an end. Shut up. Okay, right, what I want to do is sandwich this sapili between the ash, but they're different sizes. So what I'm going to do, quite dangerous, especially with my saw, which is a piece of shit. And I am not looking forward to this. I'm going to resaw this. Unfortunately, I can't do it on the band saw. It does not go this thick. So I'm going to have to resaw this on the table saw. Bloody dangerous. Don't try this at home. I am going to be removing my sleeves because I don't want nothing catching. It's the max, it, my saw blade only just, it's one tooth above the height of this. This one's a bit of a brown pants moment. Let's watch and see what happens. <sighs> In case it works or doesn't. And this saw is not the squarest of saws, so this is going to have to be as close as I can get it, essentially. One tooth above. To say I'm pulling my pants, is an understatement. Woo! Called Mrs. S to come out and help with this because this scares me. And if that's, this doesn't scare you, there's something seriously wrong with you. We've be going slow, let the blade do its work. I'm not gonna be pushing bloody hard and I'm gonna be shitting my pants the whole damn time. It's that simple. I hope you appreciate this, bro. Eight and a half. Evo stick, wood glue, D3. Guaranteed resin bond strength. Dry clear, exterior and interior. weren't wide enough. I added a couple of others. Took the other bit of this, split it in half. That's better. We're gonna work our way through the grits. Start at 60, and then all the way up to 320. Back when this is done. Okay. 
Hello. Now this has all been sanded and it is stunning, my own personal thoughts, I know, but yeah, it's sod it, it is. It looks absolutely amazing and it's had a 1200 grit. So this feels as smooth as glass. It's incredible. So what's next is I need to cut Perspex. I've never cut Perspex before, but I have some big sheets of it and it is absolutely chuffing freezing in the shed today. With the heating on, I only just got to five degrees centigrade, bloody cold. I need to cut two pieces. So I'm gonna set up the table saw. <laughs> I know, good luck. Right, thanks. I'm gonna set up the table saw and try and cut this. I've never cut it before. So I think I might bring the table saw speed down because I've got two speeds on my table saw. I've got 3200 RPM and 5000 RPM. Now I normally run at 5,000 to cut through wood because well, it's quicker. Yeah. And cutting through at 3,200, I have done it on wood and it takes forever and it just doesn't like it. So I have no idea why it's got two speed, but hey, let's let's cut a piece of plastic essentially and see what happens. I have changed my fence instead of it being upright like so. I've made it search for a thin gripping fence. Uh, so. It's thin material and I honestly have no idea. I've never used it before, so I'm pretty sure I use it so my fingers are close to it, as I'm not cutting really thin, tiny, thin pieces, so I can keep my fingers closer to keep it down and flat, or something like that. Now let's get this set to width. And the blade doesn't need to be up very high either. Result. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Shit. Send it, it's the only thing I can do, right? Well, that made a lot of mess. A lot more than what I thought I was gonna make. Shit. Excuse me, I don't know if I'll be for a snow globe. I really didn't think it would be that bad. Damn it. Oh, you f***er, it's shattered. Assholes! Safety third. Just in case anything, because, I mean, it, it split. It cracked. So just in case anything, shoo, wrong time of year to be uh, killing oneself. Last piece. This is a spare, hopefully, with any bloody luck. Three reasons that could have cracked and, you know, shattered like that. Either I had a little wobble sideways and the side of the tooth caught it and it, it shattered it. Or well, it could be the fact it's too cold in here. Deep breath. Or I could have gone too fast, I think. Now that these are actually cut, it's a lot less flexible. Brilliant. So I've got three. I need two. Yes, now it's clean up. Sand and sealer. Me and Mr. Shed Shop spent whew, hours sanding. We are now finally at assembly stage. Now this has been sanded and sealed with a shellac based sanding sealer, Rustins, which you've seen. And I, it, it just looks stunning. The grain has come out like an absolute dream. Mrs. Shed Shop, She's a good girl, you know. Mrs. Shed Shop spent hours doing this for me. So we have three sheets, one spare, and she spent hours sanding the edges on the wall, knocking them back, getting out the saw blade marks, and, uh, and she went through the grits, 120, all the way up to 1200 grit. It looks fantastic. It's still not 100% perfectly clear, but that's okay. We're gonna make it nice and clear. Once I drill the holes, we're gonna apply a bit of heat to it. Obviously it can't stand up on its own, but it can stand up on its own as it goes. It will be wide enough, but uh, I like things to have a bit of a foot. So I just knocked up a base out of a bit of peely, giving it a 45 degree bevel. I don't have a router, so I did that by eye on the belt sander. 
So let's get cracking. Oh, maybe that was the wrong word to use. Let's get drilling. Let's go with that one. We don't want any cracking. that without ruining it uh, so I'm gonna give it to Mrs S that way if it gets ruined it's not my fault and I can't shout at myself I wouldn't shout at her she scares the shit out of me come on I think I just melted that a little bit too much I got some slight bubbles on the end oh satisfying oh yeah rubber feet on here which are in the house. Oh god this is the most satisfying part of anything that's been. Well there you have it. This is for the brother-in-law. This is Mrs. Shed Shop's knives. So we have actually bought him some nice new ones. Not a full set because we well, like made the money. But we've bought him enough to start his own really nice set of knives. This has been done so you can literally put knives in either side and you know, build your set. Yeah, you stick all your normal everyday knives on one side, maybe six steak knives in the back. It's not really a front or a back, it's you know, double sided. I love how these uh, screw caps, I'm not entirely sure what they're called, I can't remember what they're called, but I will put a link to them because mwah, they are fantastic. They look great. I mean, that looks like something I purchased in a shop, but as you know, you've watched this video, I bloody didn't. I really didn't. I made this. I did a thing. Yes, I did. And I think it came out awesome. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the notifications, and we'll see you again soon. I hope you like that, Charlie and Courtney. Happy housewarming. Is that what you say? I don't know. Do you say happy housewarming? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Let's say it together then. Happy, happy housewarming. housewarming. Warning? Warning? Happy housewarming. It's knives! <laughs> <laughs>